What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as Great Britain. And in this episode we are going to finally destroy the new Spanish Empire by attacking their last city. So let's take them out. They did attempt to try and offer to become our protectorate in the last episode, but that came to nothing because uh, we weren't interested in becoming their protectorate, or in them becoming our protectorate. Um, I much preferred them becoming a full-bodied part of the Empire. We have no need of protectorates, especially as we've shown in previous episodes that uh, they can be snakes and they aren't bound to actually uh, stay part of your Empire. They can break away, even as a protectorate. Which I think is kind of dumb, but... You know, you can only play the game with the rules as written. So let's get all my cover on the left. Pikes on the centre, pikes in the centre, rangers on the right. Hessians on the left, including the Regiment von Losberg. Storm, storm, storm. Because they have mortars. Let's get my pikes up as well, because they love to aim at the pikes. Then my cavalry, nail it down the left flank. One of you, to be honest, is probably going to go straight for them. So who are they pummeling first? The 40th Regiment, the 1st Regiment. There comes the cavalry. Charging forward. It's no good being too defensive against mortars because they will just keep firing. And to be honest, this flank, this entire flank is just going to go... Ah, consoles. Didn't even know I could do that. Okay, so then... This flank of infantry... Advance straight at them, but they're going to walk. They're going to walk because my Hessians are going to run. Try to get some cavalry around the rear. My gunners to engage the militia here. I'd like my rangers to start to pick away at the militia. Turn on skirmish mode for once. My men are going to be tired. Now you guys are getting close to the end phase. You guys better run. There we go. It's them destroyed. Let's assume my Hessians can clear out these two units and push around the village. Bring my cavalry in, in through the village as a disruptor. To bring my rangers back out on the flank. Because the 41st Regiment are in. They're winded. Their general will have been in the mortar battery. Okay. 
good. Get our flank on. God, they've just folded. Very well, let's try and hack our way through the firelock arm citizenry to get to the militia, because I want to shatter them. I don't want them coming back. There goes that garrison unit. God damn, the whole thing's the whole enterprise is just folded up. Oh, okay, we do have a hidden unit. Attack the armed citizenry for as long as possible. Which is that. That's all there is. Native Bowman Auxiliary. Yeah. Just charge into them. They won't be around for very long. They're shattered. Well, that was a bit of a anticlimactic action. But there we go. New Spain has been eliminated, and that means that our forces on the continent can now focus on adding the Caribbean to our holdings. So you can't really move. In which case then our spy is going to go up to this spot here. I think our Pre oh, okay, there's my priest. I serve God's will. Let's just get you in, embark. Can you make it to the safety of a travel region? You can. Get him over to Europe, especially now with Russia. Russia back on the scene. Um, Europe is again quite a quite important uh, quite an important focus. So one of these armies is going to go and f take out Curacao, Santo Domingo, knock out the pirates and take out the French. This army is going to continue taking out Havana and taking out Nassau. So then this army here is probably going to come back to Europe where we can make better use. Oh, okay, right. So, got the marines. So let me just load up me old phone rooney so the unit request was for originally a Scottish line infantry uh, Scottish light infantry unit but there isn't a Scottish light infantry unit which is number one uh, there you go look Yorkshire's number one first Yorks Join Sir William Pepperell. And that force is going to... Well, well, it will land against Spain because we've already got considerable assets. We've got considerable assets here to deal with the Russians. I mean, they're, they're coming this way in force. So it's... Intriguing. To send men... Uh, Okay, do I take the Vilnius garrison and push position them here? Because they're either going to have to come through this way, down through Minsk, or north of these trees, and potentially up into Riga and Estonia and so on. But if I position here, I mean, they might swing around from the south. They may. We'll have to see what the Prussians do. 
can't do anything here. Again, we're not going to do anything just yet with this army. Chiefly because we had no money. So what we want... Ooh, Russia. Ooh, what? the Ottomans are pushing against Russia. Good. Because then that means they can take some of the uh, brunt of the Russian Russian offensive. It should mean that Russia should, should have to move some troops to deal with them. Yep, they are. They are still pushing, though. Yep, they are still wanting a piece of the action. Yep, that force there. Yes, I am going to intercept them at Minsk. So, the Russians have been lured into an attack on a fortified city. What we need to do is keep the... Mm, okay, so we can we can try and land a, a sort of knockout blow against the Spanish. But I think we do need to be really, really be careful against the Russians. So don't drop the militia down yet. I do like having infantry on the guns. I don't mind having militia representing, like, you know, round towards the back. Once they've got to my militia units, they've pushed around a couple of units providing some good fire. Got some grenadiers. The second Royal Welsh can hold that gatehouse. The first Royal Welsh can hold this gatehouse. Our gunners hold position. So that leaves us with... A bucket of cavalry, which is going to be sat inside. General Highlanders who are going to be waiting on one of the gates, on one of the walls. Unit of militia plus three infantry units to take take command if they make a breach anywhere or they secure any gates. You fools. Oh, great shot. So we have a position around the flank. It's got lots of foot infantry regiments. Engineers. Let's make sure all my grenadiers are on guard mode. I never try and occupy these corner sections. They always seem to be more hassle than they're worth. Fire. Now they're focusing on... Oh, another great shot. Hit the Fusiliers and the Narvski Regiment to foot to the rear. <laughs> Some of this Regiment of Foot, they only just got back up. He's a bit dazed. But soon they'll be in a position for my troops to engage so they're firing so my grenadiers should be firing soon this flanking unit is actually sending more men to the front oh the actual guys to the front have routed before that was available my militia will soon open up on the units flanking around the, to the, around the left these chaps don't stand a chance. There's three, two line infantry regiments and the second Royal Welsh are just going to chew them up. There we go. So you men sort yourselves out. Then you'll, you'll engage the seventh foot guards, hopefully. Yep. Excellent. The Cossacks have routed... That regiment of foot's broken. So now the first Royal Welsh are going to open up on the 18th. Or oh, inside that cluster. Well, they've had enough. Blunderbuss shotgunners have made it to the to the walls. So 
So you men engage. So they are light infantry. Let's get an infantry unit up onto the wall to occupy the guns. Yeah, both these units have routed. Some more blunderbuss shotguns have made it up, as has a regiment of foot, so that's got to be got to be careful there. You should do quite well. You guys should take position on the wall again, because there's enemies right there. Look, you can tell they're already focusing on trying to shoot the units on the wall. There we go, because now they've been defeated. Okay, you guys try and occupy the corner section, see if that does any good. So if these men can attack, them, attack and kill the blend of our shotgunners, you can swing around and hit the 24th in the rear. Charge! Yeah, see, so trying to get them to deploy over here is a bit funky. Some European mercenaries are about to join the fray. Royal Welsh be ready to join the fray. 27th again have been pushed back. That kind of works. It interferes with what's going on here though. Situation is useful. So the 24th Regiment are going down. It's the Grenadiers. They're sat here, but it's ready for the waiting for the order to go in. And they've also got European mercenaries coming in. Yeah, these guys are going to they, they route from as many places as possible. Go engage the mercenaries. See, good old malicious dangerous on the wall. That's the thing. But artillery and a lot of muskets. That's it's really, really quite something. Third foot guards are trying to come back. There go the militia. There go the mercenaries. Everyone take position, manning their former pieces. Engineers are coming back. It takes a long time to get your blokes forward to throw up your grappling irons and look, they got so close but they're already done. See you men form up and take position again. There we go. Sometimes you do have to turn fire it well off and then back on again to make them shuffle around a bit. Then they go, oh, okay. Because it's possible we... Uh get them to route before they even climb the wall again. Possible. And it looks like they're about to engage in 
musketry battles against the against the fortifications. That's their prerogative. Another regiment came back, but it's been repelled. Bouncing cannonball shot there. Okay, now let's deploy the cavalry. Don't go through that gate. Go around the back. So you do have some enemy cavalry to deal with, but it'd be nice to try and chew up some of these infantry units. obviously naturally stuck on the wall. There's another regiment of horse out there, seems to be careful of them. I think the smart play is to hold them together, destroy that regiment of horse. Let these guys continue to open up against the Russian infantry. Because ultimately, we've done a lot of good damage to their infantry as is. I mean, that's just too tempting. Yeah, they're coming in, so let's group my guys together. Try and get whatever stamina back we can. You charge in. See the other regiment of horse is getting involved. So many dead Russians. Let's try and fight their regiment, of course. Okay, you guys get over here as well. Really good damage against the Strilzy. I can keep chasing down the infantry for my other cavalry to storm in and save the day. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Can't actually... Uh, I think it's because they had one more infantry unit that routed, which caused the cavalry to break and run. But there we go, they lost nearly 2,000 men. Back you go, you devils. Oh, God alive. Well, I'm not going to water us off, because the balance of power gave me 50-50 uh, odds. Which, uh... Yeah, no, don't want to mess around with 50-50 odds. Not in Darth Maul Auto Resolve, because that's when it grabs you by the gonads and just gives you a great big squeeze and teaches you a lesson. I mean, some people are into that, but no, 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 no. Our strongest units up front. Our weaker units... Hunker down to the rear.
There we go. Let me sure you guys are all fire well off. Let's just do this the normal way. Get my artillery to focus on their general. It's a big spooky elephant unit. Which I don't which I do not want firing at my guys. Except even for once I put them in a defensive formation which I think the AI is aware of because that's why they're now moving around the flank because they know that uh, my guns have a limited field of fire so now you guys are just going to go like this Go on, 91st Regiment. The Islamic Swordsmen are clambering over the barricades. Oh, they fired a volley, but it's not enough. The second one's nearly enough. The third one. Go get him, pikemen. The pikemen will take you all! Ah, you're engaging the cavalry. Remember guys, this was 50-50. Toss of a coin, who wins this? Oh, if the if they all reloaded to try and kill the infantry, these horsemen would, would just collapse. Well, I mean, they're already not, not so in not such good condition anyway. Yep. General's still gone. Good. Excellent. So I think that means Cuba is ours. Good. You're back in your colonial master's hands. Soon Bahamas will be back in ours as well. Yeah, we have so much... So many things to spend money on. So many things. Don't block that port. That port's where my... Shit, where my troops are going to sail and invade you. 31 grand we're on. Okay, so you need... you got... got your cavalry element. got some... Okay, let's get another unit of marines just to balance things out. And get four reg regular units of line. If I can find regular line... Yes, there we go. Just to the side. There we go. Sweet. New town emerges in Huron Territory. So let's get a craft workshop up there. Let's upgrade this port and let's upgrade the goods of the region. Then let's go down to Cuba. Because the army needs rebuilding. Well, the government building needs repairs. You need rebuilding. This fleet needs repairs. And it does need an upgrade, but not as much as... Okay, so they're not Dark Prince of Pay, but we have no religious unhappiness, so... Craft workshop instead, and let's get a... Maybe I should get a dockyard, because I don't really need a farm there yet. Port Vocator Port. Fleet arrives. Obviously this is our priest. Who in Europe is not going to be a miserable complainy pants. He's actually pretty good. He's up to... F he's, f he's a four star. Uh, uh, priest. Okay, you're not doing your job. Because I didn't tell you to. 
You're going to sail around to build Bowed. I want to make sure they don't get any free trade. It's also good to get some intelligence on who's coming down from north. Those are good upgrades. So they've blockaded Cartagena, which is annoying, but let's build a sloop ready. It's Panama. Oh, you need to be repaired. Let's get some replenishment done. You are going to keep marching to join there. Join the army there. Okay, one more turn till Carinades. You're on to fire in advance. No, 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 no. Go on to platoon firing to get the plus one management to army administration and the plus one training level for infantry. Those overall um, training upgrade bonuses are just so... They're not so... Well, you think right now, I've actually got not a whole lot of armies on the field compared to late game other campaigns. So you know my army is going to expand massively. So getting that training bonus right off the bat is really helpful. Oh, yes. Presses on to Kiev. The Ottomans are, are off as well. Don't worry, we're going to land two armies up in Porto. Draw away the Spanish from Gibraltar. Then my army in Morocco is going to make a, a crossing. And capture that territory. Oh, they've. Oh, the Russians have immediately taken back Kiev. Sweden's on the. is on the offensive somewhere. 13 colonies is being a bro and keeping my ports clear. I need to. I need to make some proper field armies in Eastern Europe rather than garrison armies. That's the danger we face now. Good. Pirates have moved their fleet away. Thirty-four grand. We're on. New port emerges. Arcadia. Okay, you're going to be trading port as well. Let's go sloop. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. One thing I remember we didn't do is replenish this army. You need to cross over and engage the Russians here because they have a clear run into our territory. You need to get some elite infantry. You need a general, Hector Norton, and you're going to recruit some gunners to support you. Uh, let's not upgrade the water power cloth mill because that territory, well, Europe is a bit at risk compared to everywhere else I own. Okay, so coffee or sugar? What makes more money? Coffee makes just a, just a bit more money and we actually produce more sugar than coffee. So that sounds good to me. Let's upgrade the silver mine. Let's upgrade the sugar plantation and upgrade you to a coffee plantation. Repair the governor's mansion. You men fully replenish. Let's get one of our sloops out of here. Upgrade the commercial port. Horace Davidson. You and your Scottish infantry can sail on to Curaçao. Maintain siege for now because that's not an important battle to worry about yet. So let's keep pouring our money into economy upgrades so let's just keep just pretty much spend every penny we got on upgrading something a conservatory into an opera house is a brilliant value investment 108 for quebec growth i mean i don't think, I don't think anyone's touching london 
anymore. 143. <laughs> That's a lot of a lot of growth. But New Mexico did leapfrog Dublin again. Because Dublin is going to be bottlenecked to a certain degree. Can upgrade roads, but there's only so much. Oh, I can upgrade some later game industrial techs. Ready and awaiting orders. So you need one more marine unit and you'll you'll be done. I mean, this army is done. You're here kind of as a bit of a mobile reserve. Yes. Yeah, some more sh ships in my home fleet. Right, but the first thing I want to do, the very first thing, is take this guy across the river and engage the Russians. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time uh, for one of the first battle, or well, the second battle, really, of the new war against Russia. Cheers, everyone.